pray, and, and as always, we're going to walk in the journey together. So open up uh, Mark chapter 12, verses 28 to 31. It's going to be up here. Um, I'm going to be reading from the ESV. I believe that I need to be up here. Uh, so feel free to read silently as I read aloud. Hear the word of the Lord says, and one of, the, one of the scribes came up and heard them disrupting, uh, disputing with one another. And seeing uh, that he answered them well, asked him, asking him, he they asked Jesus, which commandment is the most important of all? And Jesus answered, the most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There's no other commandment greater than these. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, even before we pray for ourselves, we continue to pray for healing. Um, I want to lift up to you specifically, Sister Colleen Shea. I uh, just hearing that she was brought back to the hospital again. Continue to remember that you are both perfect, and even in the fragility of our own lives, we remember that our, our strength has always been in you. Um, we trust you that you have to hand over her, and we trust you will for her life as well. Uh, now, Lord, we also pray that you would be with us as we dive into your word. If we're reading verses that we think, we're foolish enough to think that we already know too well. Show us that we are fools and bless us with new eyes because we remember that that your word is alive. And being that your word is alive, there's no end to what we can learn about you. There's no end to the satisfaction we can find in you. Guide us with your Holy Spirit. Speak through me. I know for a fact that there's not enough good in me on my own. There's not enough eloquence that I have to like I can preach this well on my own. So if I dare do so, Lord, let those words fall on the ground and on deaf ears, but if what comes to your needs from you, use those words to stir within all our hearts and stir us into action. We are yours, Lord. We love you. Always be praying in your son, Jesus. Amen. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, Pastor Sam started this new theme that we've been walking through. We've been going through the five purposes of the church, and it, it's been an awesome ride so far. And so far, we've, um, we've covered a couple of weeks um, in terms of the, pur the purpose to worship. Pastor Sam really 